everybody and welcome to More to Explore. I am Miss Natasha and today we are going to be painting bug rocks. Okay, in your More to Explore September kit, you'll find a bag just for the bug rocks inside of your kit. And it will have all of your supplies. It'll have the paper plate, napkin, paintbrush, two rocks, blue paint, brown paint, white paint, yellow paint, red paint, black paint, two examples, and a cup for water. So first step, you can add some water to that cup. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take the red paint and you want to cover your rock with red. And I'm doing that because I want to make the ladybug. If you want to make a different bug, you are more than welcome to. I'm gonna go ahead and coat all of my rock in red. Go ahead and cover it. And once you're done with that, you're going to dip your paintbrush in the water and clean it get the red off and then you want to wipe it on the napkin and choose black to paint the rest of your ladybug. So I'm going to make the front part which is the face and then the line in the middle. And for dots, you're just gonna use the tip of the paintbrush and you're gonna dot it like that. And you can put as many dots as you'd like. And then again, I'm going to clean it, wipe it on the tissue, and I'm going to choose white for my eyes. Again, I'm going to clean the white off, I'm going to dip it, and then lastly I'm going to use black for the pupils in the eye, the little dots inside of the white, and I am all done. Now if you want, you can let it dry and then you can paint the bottom of it. So the whole ladybug is red, but that is up to you. So I'm gonna let my ladybug dry and I'm gonna start working on my bee. So you're gonna take the next rock and you're gonna paint him yellow. And so your paint doesn't dry out, might wanna cover them. At least the ones you're not using at this time. Okay, so we're gonna take the yellow and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cover the whole rock in that one color. So most of the bee is yellow. So that's why we're doing yellow on the second rock.
Now don't be afraid to get a little bit messy. I gave you a napkin, but you can always get a paper towel from the kitchen or other napkins or tissues in the house. Okie dokie. So I'm going to clear off the yellow. Clean that off. And I'm going to go ahead and use black for my stripes. And I'm going to go right across. Okay, once your stripes are somewhat dry and your yellow is somewhat dry, go ahead, add the mouth, isn't that cute? And then you also want to add the eyes, which are white. So let's go to the black, let's get the white out. And we're going to do circles for the eyes. And while the white in the eye is dry, you're going to add wings. And I know that example shows blue wings, but you can add white wings or black wings, whatever you want. Those are my blue wings. And then lastly, I'm going to add black pupil. Perfect. So I am all done. But again, when these dry, the tops dry, Go ahead and you can flip them upside down and paint the rest of it. But you gotta wait till they dry. And you're all done. So here's my ladybug. And here's my bee. And remember, you can do a caterpillar or a butterfly. You don't have to do a bee or ladybug. You can do whatever you want. You can take more rocks from outside too because you have a lot of paint left. Did you know when a bee returns to the hive, it waggles its body in a figure eight to indicate the direction of the food? And they pollinate over a hundred crops grown in North America. And on top of that, more than 3,500 species help increase crop yields. Bees are surely amazing. Did you know that farmers love ladybugs? Ladybugs eat pests like aphids, and they can eat up to 5,000 insects in its lifetime.